Welcome to Maze Leco Challenge. Today's problem is first unique character in a string. So given a string, find the first non-repeating character in it and return its index. If it doesn't exist, return negative one. So this is a very standard problem. In fact, you'll see it almost at any phone screening or any sort of weed out question uh, for any programming interview. You need to know this one for sure. So let's go through it. Say that we've been given, given the string lead code. We're going to return the index 0 because L is actually the first non-repeating character, simply meaning that there's no other Ls inside of the string other than itself. So the brute force method of doing this is to have a pointer, check the, check the character in the 0 index, and then just check the rest of the string if that character exists in each index other than itself. And if it does, then we just continue on. Um, to the next index number and check again through the entire string except itself to see if that character exists. As soon as it doesn't, then we return that index number. So that's the brute force method, but unfortunately that's a n squared solution. Um, the classic solution generally is to use a hash map or a counter hash map of some sort. So you would iterate through the entire string one time and create some sort of hash map to record the number of times that it appears in the string. Um, you could just use a typical dictionary, but what I'm going to do is use something from the collections library called a counter. So um, let's import the, we'll call it, um, we'll, we'll just kind of call it counter. And we're going to import the counter. Uh, object. And the thing about a counter is all you need to do is pass in a list or or a dictionary of some sort of iterable and it's going to automatically count the number of times that exists. So in this case we want to enter the string but we want to input that as a list, right? So we're going to call that a list here. And there we go. Now we got our counter. So how do we go through the string, we're going to say for character in the string, just check if um, I should actually use an, the range. And the reason for that is I actually need to return the index number, not the, not the character itself, right? So let's go through the range of length s, right? And all we're going to do is say um, if Let's see, the character in the string, let's retrieve the value of the character in the string. And if that equals one, then we return the i. Otherwise, if we are able to iterate through the whole thing and we don't find one that equals one, then we just return negative one. So let me just make sure that works. And for Lico, we we'll return zero. And let's say, like, let's try this test case. Should we turn two here? And we do. And let's finally submit that. And it's accepted. So, pretty typical, pretty standard. Um, honestly, interviewers aren't going to be that impressed if you know this one, but. It's definitely something you need to know to get through the phone screens. And uh, they might not like you using collection, collections objects. You might have to use a dictionary. Um, and that's pretty standard, right? You just check if it's inside a dictionary. And if it is, um, then you increment the value by one. And if it isn't, you just add, a, add the key and make it the value of one. Um, but otherwise, for this problem, I think this is the best solution. And uh, it's something you definitely need to know under your belt. So thank you.